Roblox games based on the end of the world. It's something that a lot of people have a fear of, and many have different interpretations on how it'll happen. From chaotic natural disasters that never end, alien invasions, to even games that make the player feel like the last person ever. I'm going to take a look at some of these games to see what inspired them, because a lot of them have some interesting stories tied to them. So this one is War of the Worlds, the story in which aliens come to destroy all of Earth. All right, yeah, take a look. That's the aliens right there. Uh-oh. Let's see, can they actually, like, zap you? Oh, Jesus, there's one right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, hello, aliens. I mean no harm. Yeah, there's a lot of different games based off of War of the Worlds, and that's because this book was one of the earliest stories to detail a conflict between humankind and the extraterrestrial race. Uh, this book was written in 1898, and there was at a time where, like, aliens was an actual fear of a lot of people in the Victorian era. Like, there's this drawing here. Like, there's a lot of different old drawings depicting aliens invading. This one's from 1906. <laughs> and uh, War of the Worlds definitely caused a lot more fears about aliens. Uh, they even made this 2005 movie, which, uh, the beginning part definitely scared me as a child. I remember this scene where the alien just started zapping everybody and then, like, causing the first Thanos snap. But what's even crazier about War of the Worlds is that in 1938, there's a lot of people that believe that there's an alien invasion actually happening. And that's because they were broadcasting an interpretation of the War of the Worlds to make it sound like a radio drama. And uh, because it was playing on the radio, a lot of people would tune into the radio at different times and uh, didn't know that it was actually fake. Yeah, it says here, the episode is famous for inciting a panic by convincing some members of the listening audience that a Martian invasion was taking place. Yeah, I actually found the full complete broadcast. This is, uh, this is what people were listening in. But anything means wait a minute something's happening humped shape is rising out of the pit uh-oh i can make out a small beam of light against a mirror it strikes him head on lord they're turning into flames ah! oh, the whole field's caught up by the woods of <laughs> the gas tank tanks for the automobiles and, and, and then it ended it, it got zapped ladies and gentlemen due to circumstances beyond our control we are unable to continue the broadcast from grover's mill yeah and a lot of people thought that that was real remember they didn't have like any phones to check on twitter or anything like that they uh they typically listen to the radio for their news here's an image of orson wells explaining to reporters that he had not intended to cause panic well uh yeah it's, it's a little too late on that one all right but another game based off of the end of the world is this one here the knowing end of the world scene from movie okay yeah let's uh let's take a look at this one so i'm in a bridge it's again with the red sky i think a lot of people just assume that it's always going to be a red sky when the when the end is near the end is near okay I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ignore that guy um all right let's, oh uh oh there's a meteor right there oh geez all right where is the oh no <laughs> is that the end no 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 everything is getting destroyed oh this is scary no i can't jump over the fence ah! oh well, that's a, that's a pretty- ah! Oh, look. I'm in heaven now. This is heaven. You are dead, sadly. Just step into the gate and face judgment. Oh, okay, cool. I go to the gate. Ah! Oh, gee. <laughs> what is this? Oh, they've got the, the Ten Commandments right here. Okay, what, what, what's up, dog? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> mortal. I enjoy your screams. Why am I here? What did I do? You were very bad up there. Countless. <laughs> oh, jeez. So that game is based off of this movie, The Knowing. Pretty much it just has a lot of apocalyptic scenarios. And spoilers alerts at the end of the movie the world ends oh yeah yeah looking at this scene it does match the game okay um and the way that the movie ends is that the family realizes that nothing can be done to prevent the end of the world and so instead they just meet up one last time hug it out and just wait till it happens and it eventually does yeah this movie was released in 2009 and this was during the time where like there was a lot of different apocalyptic movies like there's this one here called 2012 again another movie about the end of times but that's mainly because of the 2012 phenomenon that occurred so before 2012 actually happened happened, a lot of people actually thought that some cataclysmic event would occur on December 21st, 2012. And the reason for that is because this date was regarded as the end of date of the 5,126 year long cycle in the Mesoamerican long count calendar. Various astronomical alignments and numerical formulas were proposed for this date. Yeah, there was a lot of different events and a lot of like scares happening as well as all these movies. But uh, let's continue with this one. Survive the end of Roblox. Alright, so here's the game. It currently says the time is 11.26 p.m. Okay, so everything's normal. It's just a normal looking city right here. Emergency alert system. National Weather Service issued a severe weather warning. Uh-oh, okay. Well, here we go. Here we go. Oh, geez, it's starting. Oh, no. An earthquake is hitting the city. Wait, is that magma? Wait, what? Telamon Peak is not a mountain, but a volcano. Wait, where's the lava coming from? There it is. There's a volcano. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's actually, uh, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> the volcano is spewing out ash and lava. Ah! Run, run, run! 
Oh no, they got that person there. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> uh, let's go to a building, I guess. Uh, I'll go to this blue one right here. Ah! Oh no. Oh no, <laughs> that, that whole place just bursted into the ground. Okay, never mind. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna watch everything. <gasps> That's the building I was gonna go in. <laughs> Get inside, Santa! It's not safe! <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, no, the winds are getting strong. <laughs> Can't go inside. <laughs> Come on, Santa. Get, ah! Get inside, Santa. No! Come on. You gotta go. Santa, no. We'll never get presents. Yeah, so this game is just kind of like the typical apocalyptic event. Oh, there's a plane. There's a plane. Help us. Oh, no. Are we all going to be able to fit here? <laughs> go, 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 go. Okay, I got my spot. This is all that's left. These are the only survivors. Can I have cheeseburger, please? Mm, Shut up! Mm. A mega tsunami has been detected. Oh, jeez. Is this gonna be the end of Roblox forever? Is that the tsunami? It's growing faster. Get out of there quickly, everybody! Those left will most certainly die. Okay, that's, that's a little harsh. Dude, this is kind of sad to see, actually. I guess that this truly is the end of Roblox. All right, but the next game we've got is Neon Genesis Evangelion, Third Impact. So for those of you who don't know, Evangelion is an anime, and the Third Impact is pretty much the end of the world. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm a fan. This is kind of an awkward place to meet. Uh, <laughs> wait, no, get out of the water. Don't swim in that. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much what happens in the anime, there's a spoiler. There's a giant being that comes down to destroy all of Earth. And here's the scene where like all of humanity is like turning into like one being. They're not really dying. They're all just turning into like one entity. I don't really know how to explain it. The anime is kind of weird. And then, yeah, those are all the souls of all the people. And then in this last scene, we've got the two main characters here. Uh, just kind of left all alone. I'll, I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to explain the full lore, but it is pretty crazy. All right, but another game depicting the end of the world is this one here. Showcase. End of the world. Literally word by word. A small showcase depicting the world in its final moments. The human race is near an extinction as the world becomes uninhabitable. You're reaching the end of your journey as you stumble across an abandoned petrol station. What lies within its ruins? Oh, okay, yeah. So it's kind of like a blizzard hit here or something like that. Uh, so yeah, there's like a gas station. And then let's see, is there any secrets in here? Oh, there, yeah, there's a basement. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's kind of sad, actually. There's two people hugging each other. Mega corporations and their subsidiaries clench gold and green in their grip, cackling as the world falls apart. The world will collapse. Only then will judgment find them. Yeah, this game has a lot of different, like, messages written on the walls. Oh, no, somebody's <laughs> coming. Don't go after me. Oh, it's just Frosty the Snowman. You know what these skeletons remind me of? They remind me of this picture here about the lovers that look looks like they're kissing. What's interesting about this one is that a lot of people don't really know what happened here. Around 800 BCE, the city of Hasanlu was destroyed by an unknown invader. And then in 1973, the lovers were discovered by a team of archaeologists. Ah, yeah, life imitates art. Or the other way or something like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.